Om Shanti. Hello and welcome. For this class, uh, in the beginning, I will keep everybody muted. And in last uh, session, I will open um, for anybody to talk. Is that okay? Oh, wonderful. Thank you and welcome again. So let us learn this very important, very beautiful uh, subject of how we can manage the pain in a very experiential way, in a very different way. We all experience pain and we try different things to manage that. We try medicine, exercises, rest, heat, so many things. And a lot of time we see that it does not work. Or if it works, it's temporary. Uh, little pains can go away, but the big pains, the, the physical pain, the spiritual pain, the, the mental pain, they are there. The pain of past trauma, etc. And so let us dive into this, uh, this beautiful um, subject. So the dragons are, we know that the dragons are very powerful beings, creatures, and they can be dangerous. And uh, harmful. But if you master them, then you can have a joyful ride. You may have seen some movies about that. So, pain is more like a dragon. It's like a powerful dragon that can also ruin you, both physically and spiritually. It can uh, obstruct you and affect you in many different ways. But if you tame, or master that dragon of pain, then you can have a joyful ride through your life. Uh, how the pain can give you joyful ride? You must have seen the, the picture of a yogi uh, sitting on a nail bed or sleeping on a nail bed with a smile on his face. You may not ha have seen the yogi in real life, but uh, may have seen the pictures like that. Uh, and what does that depict? That's a yogi who has conquered the pain or has mastered the pain. The pain of the nail what happens is the pain of the nail bed on the nail, it brings its attention from the world outside to now. So all the past, painful past is gone. All the fearful future is gone. So he is brought to the present because of that uh, 
nail bed. And through the power of the yoga, he can easily go inwards in a medit and be in a meditative state for a long time. So what happens is the pain, in, instead of causing harm to him, it helps him. It works like a stepping stone uh, for him to be in that meditative state. Uh, that does not mean that uh, you inflict pain to yourself to uh, meditate. But it's just an example of uh, how we can transform the pain, how we can control the pain through the power of yoga and uh, uh, transform it into something that helps you, in fact. So let us master uh, that art of uh, the taming the pain, the dragon. Um, what are the different uh, means uh, by which we control the pain other than uh, use of the medicine, injections, physical therapy, acupuncture, chiropractic treatment, magnet therapy, massage therapy, application of heat and ice, relaxation, rest. Uh, besides this, what other method we use to control pain? Basically all the ones that I uh, described, and of course, uh, including the surgery. These are all physical means of controlling the pain. And they may or may not be uh, adequately controlling uh, uh, your pain or help you, especially chronic pain and cancer pain or terminal illness, pain from terminal illness. These are the ones that uh, just a very resilient kinds of pain and uh, effects. And uh, this is just the physical aspect that I was talking. But what about the mental or emotional pain? What about the pain uh, that we carry uh, in our lives from past mental uh, trauma? Somebody even had passed a um, uh, adverse comments and you remember it for life. And that is also kind of a pain that you carry. What about that pain? What about pain of somebody insulted you physically or uh, mentally? So all those pains are very difficult, resistant kinds of pain. And the means that we use to control them are also physical, so temporary. Um, but one important aspect to know is the pain is more deeper than the physical level because the trauma is done and over, the body is done healing, but we still carry that trauma because it's a deeper aspect. So it's more spiritual aspect. And so to control that type of the pain, you need a deeper uh, type of um, uh, instrument. And so what is the pain? What is the uh, method that we use to control the pain other than the, all the physical means? That is the soul power, use of the spiritual power. Uh, why uh, use of the spiritual power? Because these are our inner powers and they are much more effective uh, than the outside powers, much more effective than the body, immune, body strength, um, uh, money power, the relations power, the power of position, etc. Uh, at the time of the need, at the time of the emergency, those powers may not be of uh, a good use, 
by the spiritual power, it remains for you, with you forever. And uh, you can use it or you use it as a reflex action because it comes from your deep inside. Um, and uh, uh, you'll be happy to know that we all have that power. We all have the spiritual uh, powers. Uh, we are actually, uh, we inherit these powers from uh, the Supreme Soul. We are all the souls in, this bar in our bodies and our parent is the Supreme Soul. And so we inherit these powers. The problem is they are hidden. They are dormant. Uh, they may not be manifest in me. Just for an example, uh, I need a power uh, of courage to face some uh, a painful situation. I need courage. And I may not be a courageous person. That means, that doesn't mean that I don't have that courage in me. That only means that it is dormant in me. And I need to uh, awaken that power in me. Uh, how we can awaken uh, these powers in us? Three simple steps. One is realize, realization that I am a soul. Second, connection with the Supreme Soul, the yoga, yoga power. Why? Because when I connect with the Supreme Soul, I become clean, I become pure, and I then am able to receive the knowledge of the uh, Supreme Soul. And the seed of the power is in that knowledge. So yoga is just so that I can become uh, receptive of that power. And then the third step is the spiritual knowledge. The spirit, I receive that spiritual knowledge from the Supreme Soul. And when I churn it, when I uh, imbibe that inside me, I transform that knowledge into essence. And that essence of the spiritual knowledge becomes my power. It awakens or it, it emerges the power in I, the soul. So that's a soul power. Now, just like uh, in uh, martial arts, um, you know how they, uh, when they're learning, uh, they learn the martial art in uh, different steps. Um, and uh, one step at a time, they learn and master that. And once they have learned many steps, then they use this different combination of different steps into the fight or the show. In a similar way, um, we learn or um, it is beneficial to learn this uh, master, this mastering um, the pain, art of mastering the pain in a different steps, in a little steps or moves. And uh, once we master these different uh, steps, then we can use that in a, any different combination to manage our life, to manage our pain. Now, um, instead of uh, learning uh, this by the lecture, uh, let us learn in a different, uh, in an experiential way. Uh, because uh, this is a very important uh, subject and uh, it is very crucial that we uh, take this knowledge in our heart so that it becomes useful. 
let it not be just the knowledge that comes in and it gets wiped off. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speak uh, some of my thoughts, but uh, you with your intellect will, will guide yourself into that experience. Um, and I think that's the, the most powerful way of uh, learning this art. Uh, the most important aspect is your presence, uh, your participation. Uh, it is important that you remain uh, awake and present and alert. Um, keep your eyes open because uh, we're going to learn uh, this uh, beautiful subject that we will be using in our uh, daily life as we walk around. Uh, so uh, in the, um, uh, if, if needed, just focus in your uh, mind uh, to an image of the words uh, that you hear or even write down uh, or keep the eyes open. Do whatever, but remain present uh, because this is your journey. Uh, because this is the power uh, that uh, I want everybody to have. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to describe the pain in the form of uh, a different uh, dragons. And uh, then we're going to meditate. Uh, and those meditative uh, uh, thoughts are the steps that we learn uh, in our uh, mind and intellect. So the first dragon is the giant dragon, the dragon of body consciousness. This is the root cause of the pain and suffering. In fact, this is the root cause of all sorrow. And so let us master this dragon. Let us tame this giant dragon with bodiless stage, stage of soul consciousness. So sit with your back straight. Keep your eyes open. You're going to learn a very important move. This is the most important time. Slowly breathe in and hold. Slowly breathe out and hold. As you take another breath, Bring your intellect 
the third eye of intellect to yourself. Visualize yourself as a shining point of light. I am a pure soul, a point of light. in the soul world, up above, beyond the physical world. There is total silence and stillness. In front of me is the Supreme Soul. The purifying point of light. The whole universe is silent. Gentle rays of Supreme Soul are falling on me. See this picture with your open eyes. And as each raw rays of light fall on you, experience peace, love, purity, happiness. bliss, knowledge, power, hold the scene in your intellect. Hold the feeling of peace and love in your heart. Take a slow, deep breath. and return to this body. So that is one example of being bodiless. When we practice uh, this bodiless stage over and over in many different ways, then it becomes natural for us 
to have that soul conscious stage and we can easily overpower that uh, dragon of the body consciousness, which is the root cause of the pain. The fire breathing dragon of pain. This is a powerful dragon that can ruin you physically and spiritually. It can incapacitate you. It cannot, it will not let you concentrate your mind. It will lock your intellect in the physical world. You cannot see anything beyond the pain. And that constant feeling of the pain will not let you be silent in your heart. That constant internal noise will prevent you connecting with God, feeling his love. You would not be able to listen to what he says. Your heart has pain. Your intellect is stuck in the pain. Your mind has thoughts of pain. So that's a powerful dragon. How we are going to master that. So let us master this dragon with the power of tolerance and the knowledge of karma. Bring your attention to yourself in the center of your forehead. See yourself as a soul. I am the child of the ocean of knowledge. Become aware of the Supreme Soul, the Son of Knowledge. I understand the law of karma. Birth after birth, I, the soul, have used and interacted with the five elements and the other souls. In a more and more negative ways than positive. And until now, I was not able to clear my accounts with the power of yoga, because I was not aware of who am I. I was not aware of how I can be in connection with my father. But now that I am aware, I am able and I'm suffering this karma, suffering of the karma because I have pending accounts 
that I had not been able to clear until now. And that's why I have that pain. I have that disease. As a knowledgeful soul, now let me not waste a single moment in blaming others or any situation. I understand that I am responsible for my karma. I am the master creator of my own story. Now let me create my fortune by performing elevated actions. Until now, I was not aware of karmas. But now I am the knowledgeful child of my father. Let me not have any ill feeling for others. And let me create pure feeling and good wish for everyone. Let me accumulate the power of blessings. and clear my account of suffering. The power of blessings. Is the most powerful medicine for my pain. As I clear my account, I become lighter. I can see the benefit in the disease that I have. Behind that curtain of the scene, I can see that benefit. This situation has come to make me powerful, to make me rich. I can see the gems, the diamonds behind that curtain, the gem of faith, the gem of tolerance, the gem of stability. I become more powerful as I cross this situation. And as I attain this power, my love for God increases and improves my immunity to tolerate every soul. Next, we will learn to master the dragon with many tails, the obstructor. The one who causes burden. Pain has many proliferations. Pain is just not alone. 
it is associated with many things, depression, anxiety, insomnia, weakness, a feeling of low, loss of the job, loss of independence, fear, so many things. So these are the different tales of this dragon. So let us master this dragon with power of accommodation. Sit in silence. Immediately bring attention to I, the soul. I realize that I, the soul, am a point in this body. My father, the supreme soul, is a point. And this drama of limited happiness and sorrow is also a point. The whole universe is merged in these three points. In the vastness of these three points, I merge the pain and transform it into a powerful stage. Just like how ocean transforms everything that falls in it into something beautiful, including the gems that we find in its bottom. Like a river, I adjust myself according to the time and situation. I don't fight the pain. But I accommodate my own weakness. I don't wait for the situation to change. But I take a lead and begin my own transformation. I flex and I flow. I meander and I change. And I find the path to my destination. Just like a river. I don't stop from any obstruction in my path. I work around. And I become victorious, powerful by merging in the powerful ocean. I, the soul, follow my path to the powerful 
ocean, the supreme soul. I don't let any obstruction stop me. The challenging dragon. This aspect of the pain, the fear, it demands a response. And if you don't respond, then it stays. The disease stays. It waits for you to respond. So it's a demand that the pain, the disease is asking. So you have to respond. And if you respond negatively, it grows. It becomes bigger. So if there is a disease and I respond with sorrow, that disease become bigger. The pain becomes more worse. So how do I, how do I tame this dragon of fear? This is the dragon of the severe pain, the deep pain, the deadly disease. And a lot of time there is no hope for recovery. This anticipated loss of the function or independence, how do you deal with this dragon, the fear? And as we learned before, the, the power of soul consciousness, the bodyless stage applies to each of these dragons. But specifically, Let us tame this dragon with the power to face. So bring your total attention to yourself as a soul in the body. Remember your cycle, your journey. And remember that you have journeyed many times in this world cycle. And with that also remember that you have been victorious all the times, every time you have been victorious, you have won in the end. Bring that feeling of victory in your heart now. Feel that power. And also remember who is your strength. 
Who is your support? Who is your backbone? And feel that added energy inside with that memory. And also remember what is your purpose? What is your goal of you, the soul? Fighting this disease and wasting the precious time or something else. Understand that this situation has come to you to make you powerful, successful, hero. Be in the stage of hero consciousness. With this shift of the consciousness, realize that the feeling of fear is replaced with the feeling of confidence. Your goal is associated with your role as role of a hero. You're here to cause benefit to the world. You are a world benefactor soul, the master. As a master, you hold the hand of the Supreme Soul and take on the challenge of the dragon. Let go of your delicate nature of your weakness, of being soft, of being lazy. Rise with the determination. Fight, not physically, not with a negative force. Fight by emerging love and happiness to heal your own body and to heal the five elements and to heal every soul. As you keep the dragon at bay with your stability and peace, with this stage of self respect. you take the control of this dragon. You hold the reign of the dragon in your hand and command it to take you to a beautiful ride 
to your inner world. Facing a power to face is to transform in a positive way with true awareness of the self as a master in company with the Supreme Soul. the heavy dragon of inner burden. The pain and the disease is associated with inner burden in your intellect, in your mind, in your heart. It makes you heavy inside. The painful emotions does not let you feel light. The thoughts of the pain, the thoughts of no hope, no recovery does not let you feel silent. And the past trauma becomes a present pain. So it's ever growing. How we are going to take care of this dragon that burdens you. So let us master this dragon with power to back up. Once again, sit in the stage of soul consciousness and bring into your awareness your journey as a soul. My home is the supreme abode. One birth to the other. I have gathered many unnecessary heavy things, burdens on my sanskar, my impressions. And I carry that from one birth to the other the impressions of sorrow, impressions of suffering, impression of anger. Now with the awareness that I am a soul, I realize that I am carrying this burden unnecessarily. I am on a journey I need to travel light. I realize that I am a guest and as a guest, I don't travel with my whole house. I only carry what's needed. So have, having faith in my drama, I understand that this situation that I'm facing now, although it's very uncomfortable, it must be perfect. because the Supreme Soul is perfect. 
there must be something that I'm not able to understand. And that is why this situation is there. So let me put a full stop to all my doubts, to all my questions. And let me let go of all the waste thoughts and become light. It is possible that this pain has come to me so that I can learn something. Let me begin to see the benefit in the problem. And let me feel love of the God, the Supreme Father, instead of the heaviness in my heart, the pain. And let me feel that love for all the souls who are also children of the God and have pure feelings for them. And have that understanding that no one is responsible for my pain. It's just me. And I have nothing against anyone. Now I am returning home to my parent. And what do I take with me? Let me not take what is not needed, what is not good for me. Let me take the blessings with me. Let me take the fruits of the elevated karma with me. And let me take the love with me. Let me travel light. I am merged in love of God, detached from the incidents, from the pain, from the disease. from the role that I play in this life. So when I journey, I travel light. I discard what's not needed. I only carry the essence full. I'm a guest. The drama is perfect. And my most precious possession is God's love, the elevated karma and blessings. The ever growing dragon of expansion. The pain, you may have realized that the pain or the disease or a physical a condition, uh, it keeps you busy, very busy with that one. So it locks you there. 
um, uh, the the um, the ever growing part of that pain is it has many uh, different ramifications as we had seen earlier anxiety sleeplessness etc but it keeps you so busy it pulls you it keeps you down it does not let you go beyond it cannot it does not let you think that you are a soul So this uh, particular uh, aspect of the pain is uh, it uh, leads you into a faulty um, habits and it uh, leads you to another problem, another disease. Um, example, um, if I have uh, some chronic uh, pain problem, then I feel depressed and down. And then I try to resolve that um, without success, having tried many different things. And then when I fail again and again, then I resort to uh, move away internally or hide myself or uh, I seek um, something uh, in which I find comfort. And one example would be of I eat something constantly that I don't need to. So faulty food habits. So just one example. Um, and similarly, a chronic pain problem can lead you into attachments, faulty attachments that you don't need. Attachment to things, attachment to people. And uh, um, the need for pills, more pills. So it creates another uh, a problem. Problem creates another problem. So that's ever growing dragon of expansion. So let us control this dragon with our power to withdraw. Expansion, opposite, withdraw. So sit in the soul conscious stage once again. I see the pain. I feel the pain. I feel the discomfort. I see the danger. But I also realize I am a powerful soul. And my power is in my form, my point form. I am a point. I have that power of introversion. So as I see this danger, I detach and I become introvert. And I move to a safe place, which is also quiet and clean. And I connect, I combine.
with the source of all powers, the source of purity, the source of happiness. I connect with that one. And I feel the joy. the comfort, the richness. I feel the suk, the joy, the richness, the happiness. As I go in, I feel that suk. I become so full with my attainments inside that I become essenceful. I speak essentially. I think essentially. I become simple in my thoughts. And when I become simple, my problems become simple. I let go of my dependencies. I don't need anything. I am so rich and I am so simple that I don't need anything. I am a self-sovereign master of my mind, intellect, and impressions. I withdraw from body consciousness to my point form. And I remain in company with the Supreme Soul. I see outside without getting affected from what's happening. I am completely safe. My every thought is in company with the Supreme Soul beautiful, pure thoughts. And as I emerge the beautiful, pure thoughts, I begin to create a beautiful world around me. A pure world where there remains no sorrow, no pain, no suffering. I maintain the stage of introvertness, of my seed stage. As I return to this body, as I take charge of that dragon that hurts me, As a good master, I take care of everything and everyone in the most gentle, in the most positive way. I 
I remain safe and detached from the disease and from the pain. And in this detached stage, I can understand the solution for the problem that I'm facing. And I can come up with a beautiful answer. So that was the power to withdraw. It is a very powerful tool where you withdraw from body consciousness to your point form. And you become uh, impenetrable. Nothing can hurt you. Not even death of self or others or close ones. The defiant dragon of self-harm. The defiant dragon is the one who always does the opposite. You trying to do something and they do the opposite for you. So pain is like that. Uh, it uh, drags you opposite to where you want to go. You want to overcome the pain and you want to have a good life, peaceful life. But this dragon pulls the opposite direction. It makes you think bad. It makes you think opposite. And so this causes self-harm. The more negative you become, the more harm you cause to yourself. So how do you um, counter this dragon? The power to cooperate. Cooperate. So briefly, what is this power before we meditate? Cooperate with whom and how? Cooperate with the one who is doing the most good. I can cooperate with my boss. But if my boss is not in the business that is beneficial to many, then that cooperation is wasted. Cooperate with the one who is doing the most good. Who is that one? The Supreme Soul, the God. The most benevolent, the most beneficial, the Shiv. I cooperate with him. And when I cooperate with him, I become powerful. In a factory, if there are 100 workers, each of them may have their own weaknesses. But when they work as a unit, combined, they become powerful. Same way, when I cooperate with Shiva, the God, then I become powerful. His power flow through me because I'm doing something that he intends to do. I cooperate in his task. So naturally, his power will flow through me and I will become powerful. And that power is the healing power for my pain, for my disease. So let's meditate.
withdraw from the outside world and outside events. And see yourself as a living energy in this body. And realize that my father is the supreme soul. And understand what he has, what role he has to play in this world. Understand that he plays a crucial role of purification of the world, of beautification of this world, of transformation of the old to new. And I am his child. And as his responsible child, I begin to take interest in his task. I begin that process of purification inside me. I begin to have pure thoughts. Because I realize that when I become pure, I contribute to that task of world purification. I purify my vision, how I see. I purify my heart, how I feel, what I hold. I purify my eye, my intellect. I create elevated thoughts, elevated attitude and vision. And I contribute by serving the world. I let go of my weaknesses because the new world that he will create cannot be inhabited by weak souls. I let go of my weaknesses. The new world has powerful souls. I bring control on my sense organs. I have unlimited attitude of purity that I contribute to this world. And through my transformation of my attitude, I indirectly help many other souls by creating that purity in the atmosphere. As a reward of this task, of this responsibility, I receive the blessing from my father. I receive that love that makes me content and happy. And that blessing, that love, and that happiness becomes 
the ointment for my pain, for my suffering, for my weakness. So when I, with my all sense organs, align with the God's work, I bless myself. I heal myself. The blinding dragon. We have eight minutes to go, so I'm going to rapid fire. The limited vision. This dragon is the dragon of actually understanding how I see. So it does not let me see. The pain will not let me see. It blinds my vision. It blinds. I don't understand what is right. I don't understand what is good. So that's that blinding dragon. Because I have that limited vision. I'm body conscious and I have this limited vision. So how am I going to counter that? The power to discern. In fact, this is the first power that we receive when we become so conscious, the power to see the truth. Because when we see the Supreme Soul we realize that Supreme Soul is our Father. We realize the truth. And that truth opens our eyes. So let us quickly um, and essentially meditate. Open your third eye of intellect and see your illness from a high stage. See your pain from a high stage. Your body is down, you the soul is up. Looking down to the suffering, the pain, the disease. You can see the cause for that disease. You can see the present and you can see the future of this disease. And when you see the disease in total, then you develop the confidence that this is, this disease or illness is not going to be there forever. You're going to be sooner or later victorious. So have that victorious feeling inside. Have that vision of knowing what is true, what is right, what is good for you, the soul. And once you know what is good for you, the soul, you can take that path of goodness. The dragon of illusion. This is the, uh, um, the dragon that clouds your capacity to make decisions. It creates illusion in your intellect, in your mind, in your heart. You cannot judge. You can't make decision. And this is one of the uh, big um, a tool to learn as we uh, learn to fight the different aspects of the pain. Um, as a knowledgeful uh, soul, uh, um, you understand the truth, the, you discern what is right. And once you discern what is right, you, make, you can make a better decision. Uh, and uh, what is needed to make a good decision is clean intellect and clean and clear intellect. Who is the one who is deciding? 
I, the soul, who is deciding through my intellect. My intellect is my uh, organ that makes a decision for me. Uh, but when the intellect is stuck in the body consciousness, then it cannot make decision. When intellect is under the influence of the thoughts, the negative thoughts, it cannot make a decision. When it is influenced by the pain, hurting heart, aching heart, it cannot make a good decision. So let us quickly um, meditate. With the third eye of the intellect, I see myself as a pure soul, free from the influence of the mind, free from the influence of the heart. the limited vision, the limited attitude, the limited or negative or waste thoughts. I am free from these. And in this freedom, I see clearly what is right because I am connected with the Supreme Soul, who is the truth. And I make the right decision. And lastly, one minute to go. For the smoother ride of these dragons, <clears throat> what is needed, is number one, accuracy. Accuracy means right power, the right time for the right situation. And for that, I need knowledge. Speed, the way these dragons affect us is the speed. Bef even before I can understand or decide what I want to do, it attacks and it overpowers me. So I need to be faster than that. I need to be able to go into that soul conscious stage, into that powerful stage within a split second, the moment I see the dragon, the moment I see the sorrow coming towards me, I take charge. So that speed is needed. And how do I develop speed? I develop speed with uh, constant practice, long practice. Balance. I need balance. I cannot have three powers. And then I cannot hope to control the dragons with three or four or even seven powers. I need all the powers because I need balance. If I have uh, even one power missing, then my balance will be off. The dragon will, make, will get me from what I don't have. So I need to gain all the powers. I need to awaken all powers and master them. Obedience, I need uh, to be, for me to have uh, the blessing of these powers, I need to be an obedient student of the Supreme Soul. Every godly instruction has to be followed by me. I cannot selectively follow some instructions and others not. If I do that, then some powers will come to me, other powers, powers will not. I need to be a worthy child. I need to have everything that he has. Next is application. Use uh, these dragons in your daily situation, day in, day out. Whatever you see, whatever you do, whatever you feel, 
there is a dragon and you figure out how you can deal with that. And that's the way to become powerful and constant connection with the Supreme Soul through yoga. Om Shanti. Let us sit in silence for one minute. In total silence in the soul world. As we started this journey. Soul world. Supreme soul in front. You the point. The whole universe. The silence. Om Shanti. I'm going to unmute all of you. I hope you had a good 